y'all, it's John Master Lee here. I'm getting a couple requests from you all to check out Addict, a new music video from Has Been Hotel. Well, actually from Vizipop for Has Been Hotel, which I love. Wifey and I love it. Uh, so it's been a real boon lately if you're a fan of Has Been Hotel. First, you got the Living Tombstone doing Alistair's Game, a music video that was just from left field for me. I never heard of this guy before. And the outcome of it and his creation was phenomenal. So here we go, a second music video within a couple of weeks. July is a good month if you're a fan. Of course, it would be a lot better if we got a full-blown second episode. But you know what? Um, I'm patient. I'm patient. But till then, let's check this out. Looks like it features Angel, so this will be interesting. Warning. Videos contains graphic language, dull contact, flash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Till death do us part, but we're already past that phase. The synthesized it's voice is a little much. Start, and I think I deserve some praise for the way that I am. Despite having overdose and ending up comatose, I don't give a damn. Dark. I've let my emotions go. Fuck being a sober hoe. This is the mantra, this is my life You're playing with now till the end of the night Surrounded by fire, the passion ignites A hidden that heaven and hell are hell of a high I'm addicted to the madness This hotel is my Atlantis We're forever gonna have a fucking reason to sin Let me leave my soul a burn and I'll be breathing in Ah, uh, EDM style. That's with all the synthesized sounds and the voice modulation that got going on. Woo! Now this is my jam right here. Love you, EDM. This is a really grim story that I go on. I thought it started really, really slow. Just him singing. The synthesized voice felt like it was done because like the voice actor for Angel may not be much of a singer, so they had to go that extra level. But once the beat started to build up and turn into a dance pop, really, really catchy actually. I actually like the lyrics. Pretty good jam. I'm addicted to the madness. This hotel is my Atlantis. We're forever gonna have a fucking reason to sin. Let me leave my soul of fun and I'll be breathing it in. I'm addicted to the feeling. Getting high. It's hard to know how to feel about this because the whole cartoon nature of this makes it colorful and fun. The songs are real bop too, but the dark undertones are it's just dark.
No, I realize the whole series is dark. It's set in hell with a bunch of people that definitely belong there, but it's always been very comical, you know what I'm saying? Well, this really kind of goes into a backstory a little bit deeper and see some of these clips of what the life is like, and it's depressing. That gong. That's a lot of people working on this. <laughs> Kudos for everyone working on this. All right, so, yeah, I mean, just kind of to summarize here, it's a beautifully done piece. I actually like the song. The buildup was a little slow, in which case, you know, for me, of poison flowing into my veins giving me a dose of pleasure that resides by the pain i'm addicted i'm dependent looking awesome feeling helpless and i know i'm raising cain by every highway in hell maybe things won't be so terrible inside this hotel oh oh there's a nice ending after all but the message has got me conflicted, right? Because it comes across like I'm addicted to this lifestyle, a life that I know is utter hell. I basically brought this on myself. I acknowledge that everything I'm doing is bringing this despair, this anguish, but I'm addicted to the other side of what I get from it. It's a very tragic tale at the end of the day, like being addicted to something where... I guess you could say that's like all addictions at the end of the day. But the hope here, and I think it's an interesting sort of a symbolism, is that Hasbro Hotel is like rehab at the end of the day. This is an opportunity for these people to come and stay there uh, with someone who has this idealistic view of what the world can be. And I think Charlie is a great sort of symbol of like, you know what, no matter what your past is, I... I'll accept you for who you are, and no matter how difficult this is, and no matter how absolutely impossible it may seem, and how much you tell me that you won't change, I still believe you'll change. I still believe it's possible. Ultimately, I think that is the beauty of this, and why I think so many people love this series is because it's not just dark for the dark reason. There's a ray of sunshine at the end of all this. So, interesting. Never would have expected this. Let me know what you all think. The drop was awesome. All right, y'all. A peace out.